Hey guys, to love is nothing, but to be loved by the person you love, that's everything. When you feel the love between Devin and DeShayla Garrett, you will scream, man, this is true. DeShayla Garrett will never forget the day she formally met Devin. They had met when they were in their early 20s, and she remembers that day like it was yesterday. The weather was definitely not favoring romance because it was so hot and sunny. It was September 2012, and DeShayla was just returning back to her grandmother's house with her uncle's kids when she saw the infamous gold car in the driveway. She instantly got butterflies because she knew it was Devin's car. Devin and her uncle James had been friends for years, but her uncle was so overprotective and she was never able to talk to Devin. The kids got along with the Shayla out of the car and James, who was his friend, introduced them. The Shayla had a very reserved temperament and was more on the shy side when she first met people, but something within her that day was making her bold. So shy to Shayla asked him, hey, you got a girlfriend? He said no, so she proceeded to ask if he was interested in her phone number. You should have seen how he blushed, but he took her number and now something very important for you to know. They have been smitten ever since then. At that period of time, she was living in a place about an hour away, but they still managed to find a way to be close to one another. They didn't miss a single chance to be together. Before long, she realized that she just simply wanted to be with him. Devin brought so much sunshine into her life and then their love continued to flourish for years. It was March of 2015. It was the beginning of a journey they had not even imagined would ever take place. Three years into their precious relationship, Devin developed a funky dry cough that just simply wouldn't go away. They went to the emergency room on three different occasions and was simply told he had walking pneumonia and there was nothing to worry about and they sent him home with some antibiotics. Unbeknownst to them, each time he was treated for walking pneumonia, a mass on his lung was growing and growing steadily. Within a few months, Devin developed skin nodules all over his back. Time passed and still no changes in the nodules on his body, but surprisingly, Devin had always been a hill, hardy, and very healthy young man before this. Incidentally, DeShayla was shocked when she noticed that over time, Devin's weight, his appearance, his appetite, and his overall health was alarmingly going down and they simply thought it was due to stress. In August 2015, they didn't know that their lives would be changed forever. Devin was experiencing discomfort and was screaming painfully. He said that the part of his head where he had a nodule was hurting him and hurting badly. His mother and Deshayla decided to take him to the University of Shands in Gainesville, Florida. It was pretty far away but Devin, he just wasn't comfortable with all of the hospitals they had visited previously. The whole ride to Shans was nerve wracking for all three of them. The way Devin described his head pain intensified her worry and she worriedly thought it could possibly be a brain aneurysm. They reached Sands, test, test, and more tests. And then he was admitted. They did a biopsy and the doctor said he would be okay it may be a treatable genetic condition. The worst part of the diagnostic reports, it could be cancer. They had been in the hospital for about four days and she felt Devin would be okay. DeShayla had to travel to Orlando the following day to attend to her sick brother. While she was away, she received the most frightening phone call. It was from Debbie, Devin's mom. She was sobbing uncontrollably. In between her sobs, she remarked sadly that Devin had been diagnosed with cancer. Those words were so nerve wracking. It almost took the breath out of DeShayla's body. It was so devastating. She could not control her tears. Her mom and her grandmother joined her and cried as well. 
At that time, she regretted not being with Devin, but looking back, she realizes that it was all for a good reason. Devin and DeShayla have such a strong bond that they cannot bear each other's agony. If she had been in the hospital room the day he found out, she wouldn't have been strong enough for him as she is today. So she prayed that God would give her the strength to endure what was to come. She instantly journeyed to be with Devin, to be by his side, and she has been there ever since. August 14th, 2015, the diagnosis, Devin stage four adenocarcinoma of the lung with metastasis to the brain, bones, liver, and his eyes was due to an ALK gene mutation. Devin has never been a smoker, so this diagnosis was quite a shocking surprise. A month passed by, they were still in the hospital. The doctors wanted to keep Devin stable and plan his treatment op options. Devin's prognosis was two to four months to live without treatment and four to six months with treatment since the cancer had spread into his whole body. Hospice was counseling them. In fact, hospice was preparing them to gain strength in order to face the worst. But their faith was bigger and stronger than that. They came from families that are grounded in their faith, so they decided to fight this battle and could, until they couldn't fight it anymore. The day before getting discharged, their family and friends had come to meet them when something strange happened. Devin requested the Shayla's mom to get a ring pop for him. It was Devin's discharge day and he asked the Shayla if she was ready to take a walk with him in the Garden of Hope which is right outside of the cancer hospital. As they are walking through the garden, reading those inspirational words of the previous cancer warriors who were in the hospital as well, the Shayla sees from the corner of her eye, Devin taking out a piece of paper and instantly her heart starts pounding. Thump, 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 thump. Devin placed this paper into Shayla's hands and asked if she would read the letter, which was specially written for her by him. As she began to read the letters, tears welled in her eyes. The words soaked with pure love was uncomparable, and she realized that the man she fell in love with was her soulmate. As she finished reading the letter, Devin gets on one knee with the ring pop, and he asked her, marry me in the garden of hope and DeShayla wholeheartedly said yes. Even while fighting his own toughest battle, he thinks of her. This act moved DeShayla and she has been ever grateful for that. Some people made fun of Devin for proposing with a ring pop, but DeShayla was on cloud nine experiencing heavenly bliss. She didn't care if she ever got a ring. What mattered to her was that God blessed her to spend more time with Devin. Things happened very fast, and before she realized it, she was planning a wedding within a month. During this time, Devin had to undergo two weeks of full brain radiation, which required them to stay at the Hope Lodge for two weeks so he could undergo his treatment every single day. During that time, Devin also started an oral chemo at the same time as the radiation. It was September, a crazy month indeed, but it was well worth it for October. Their wedding was on a very small scale. It was a private ceremony attended by close members of the family. But the theme was exotic, garden of hope. Butterflies denote hope and Devin and DeShayla's wedding was full of butterflies and flowers. She chose a lovely lavender dress because purple is the color for all cancer fighters, and she wanted to include it in Devin's journey. The day she married Devin was one of the best days of her life. DeShayla took about two and a half years off from her regular work, and she realized that she was passionate about baking so she started baking for a cause. She would and still does bake yummy goodies and she sells them to support any financial assistance Devin may need during this journey. 
Devin was her source of inspiration to go ahead with her passion for baking and the cause behind it was everything on the earth for her. The newlywed couple got a joyful surprise from the Dream Foundation who paid for them to have a beautiful honeymoon in St. Pete Beach. St. Pete had breathtaking beauty, but Devin was complaining of arm pain and discomfort in his chest. DeShayla was aware that medical treatments would make him feel uncomfortable, but she didn't expect it to be so bad. They were forced to end their honeymoon a little early and Devin went for a checkup. They found out he had a blood clot in his lungs and he was admitted. He was eventually treated and then discharged. Months started flying by and Devin was progressing well. Incidentally, he was doing better than expected. For the past year, Devin was on his oral chemo. His cancer had spread, but thank God he got access to the third generation of the oral chemo, which penetrated the brain, unlike the first generation. Due to an increase in brain lesions, he was not fit to undergo stereotactic radio surgery. It's December 2019. They were busy making preparations for parties and events. It appeared things were going to improve when again, the cancer started creeping in. Doctors diagnosed that the cancer in his femur had spread to his leg as well, and it had started deteriorating the bone. Devin had to undergo an emergency surgery and a titanium rod was placed inside the femur bone. It was a testing period. The Shayla was working full time and in spite of working 40 plus hours a week, she was also a full time caregiver. Sometimes she felt jittery, but Devin made it easy for her. Not once since being diagnosed with the dreaded disease had he ever complained about it. The Shayla has great admiration for him for being so strong, not only for himself, but for her as well. Devin did lots of physical therapy. They were at least getting acclimated to their new normal, but in any journey, trials and tribulations are bound to be there. In May, 2020, Devin was getting ready for his fourth round of radio surgery and on the fifth generation of chemo, and then they got more bad news. Devin needed a second surgery to fix the rod. It's now October 3rd, 2020 and they were able to celebrate their anniversary the way they wanted. They enjoyed every second. In November 2020, they got hit yet again by more bad news. Devin's cancer had developed a resistance and there are no new generations of oral chemo. Now the only possible treatment option left is the traditional IV chemo. The Shayla felt sad for him, but she thought since they had made it this far, they can make it further as well. Devin started IV chemo, and he's still taking it every three weeks. His doctor had men mentioned the name of an oncologist who specializes in rare cancer, and the Shayla was bent upon getting him seen by her. They prayed and called the Boston Mass General, nothing short of a miracle. DeShayla was able to get him an appointment within two weeks of her call. Here they are in May 2021 and they are on their way to Boston. They are lucky that both doctors have been in communication regarding his treatment. They are now awaiting biopsy results to see if there is any treatment for him. Devin is still taking an oral chemo as well as the IV chemo and he's doing wonderfully well. Perhaps their strong faith and their very strong love for each other keeps him going. Wow, the power of love. Can love truly heal someone? Of course, the medicine and the doctors have contributed a lot for his survival, but above all, why DeShayla still has her best friend Devin by her side is because of her unconditional love. It saved him. What should people take away from this story? Learn to have faith. Anything can turn around for you. 
This whole journey has helped Devin and DeShayla to not only appreciate each other more, but to also live in the present, to live right now. Life no doubt brings rain and storms, but love conquers all. Cancer, you tried to destroy Devin and thereby DeShayla as well, but it didn't happen. DeShayla thanks Cancer for making them stronger and allowing them to love even harder. Don't you think we all have one life to live? So why not make it magical and live it to our fullest? An illness should not define our worth. So hey, warriors, stay strong because this too shall pass. We all have to transition from this world one day. But remember, even when you're nearing the end of your life's journey, smile and realize you did your best. And that's what matters.